what's going on y'all man welcome back to another video <laughs> it's your, excuse me it's your boy fat cat of course bringing you another one man um man y'all see the thumbnail y'all see the title man i just can't win i don't know what's going on man if you guys follow me on ig right fat cat 8181 make sure i got you guys go follow me on there because i would have already you know you would have already seen that i posted this a couple days ago and um yeah man i ended up catching a nail like, it's like a I mean, it's huge. Um, like screw in my, yeah, it's more like a screw in my tire, my right front tire. So, uh, it, it, it is a slow leak though, because that day, that was a couple days ago, um, that day I did fill it up with air and it took about maybe three days, two to three days for it to go back uh, down. So I know it's not like a, you know, it's, it's a, it's a slow leak. Um, so I'm going over to the tire shop right now to hopefully if I can fix it because I'm not trying to buy a new tire because I just bought these tires. I literally I probably barely got 150 to 200 miles on these tires. So I'm going to go down and I know it's not the conventional way. I know everybody likes to, you know, some people don't like um, uh, uh, patching or, or, or plugging their tire. Um, they think it's unsafe, but... I would tell you, man, like I've, I've done this for, you know, numerous cars or whatever. And I, I personally never had a problem with patching or plugging. Um, actually, I'm, mainly I go with plugs. Um, and, I mean, I've done my, my wife's car plenty of times. Even this current car. Not on these set of tires, but I've done her car plenty of times. And, uh, yeah, man, never had any issues. So, anyway, man, point being is, knock on wood, hopefully I don't this time either. And that they can actually plug it because, you know, sometimes it depends on where it's at. If they can even plug it or not so i'm going down there right now hopefully they can plug it for me and then uh it'll, everything will be all good and another thing i'm hoping is that this damn it doesn't fall off or fall out while i'm driving that will suck so i'm hoping the screw doesn't fall off or fall out of the <laughs> the tire while i'm driving hopefully not i doubt it but i, I just hope it doesn't and another thing i'm concerned about is if they could get the car up on the jack Cause you know, obviously the car's loaded and everything else. So hopefully they got jacks that could go up under the car and um, you know jack it up. So we'll see, man. All right, man. We'll see. We'll see y'all when we get there. And then uh, you know, obviously I keep y'all up to date, man. Fill y'all in. Let's go. Alright man, so we made it up to uh, Riverview Tire and Auto, so here goes the uh, summer, here goes the uh, screw right there man, huge, so they said they could just plug it right on the car, so we're going to plug it and call it a day man, hopefully you guys can hear me, I know it's kind of loud out here, but yeah there we go, so this is going to stick a plug in there, then we have to take the tire off, the wheel off or anything like that, stick a plug and call it a day, in and out man, that's what I'm talking about. man they put that on there so they're just gonna cut the access off and everything else and then I call it a day and then as I'm driving over time it'll you know it'll uh, wear itself down so there you go I know some people don't like it but it is what it is
gotta go, man. So we good to go. My man here, what's your name? Manny. Manny. My man here, Manny, hooked me up. There you go with the uh, pound. There you go. <laughs> Appreciate it. My guy here, Manny, hooked it up, man. So we got the plug in there. Sprayed it with the solution. No, no bubbles. We should be good to go. I'm going inside to pay real quick. All right, man. And there you all go. Easy as that, man. I was in there literally probably like five minutes. Riverview Tire and Auto. Um, you know. They don't look like much of a shop on the outside. From the outside, they look like a little rinky dink shop, to be honest. But that's probably like the third or fourth time that I went to them for plug, really only for plugs. And um, they've taken care of me every time. Um, you know, about 15 bucks or so. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I'm, back in the day, I remember I used to get plugs for like $5. But it is what it is. I mean, everybody charges between 15 and $20 now um, just for a plug. But it's all good though. Like I said, every time I go in there, quick service i've never in there more than like 10 minutes um and this time i was in there for a little as soon as i pulled up they seen the screw i you know i turned the wheel showed them the screw and they knocked it right out right then and there man so appreciate uh appreciate them for doing that yeah man but damn i could never win man i don't know what it is i i cannot win if it ain't something it's the other man for real like but you know no complaints man um you know we're blessed over here so at the end of the day it's all good i, I mean you know uh, I'm for, I mean, I'm fortunate enough to even have, consider even having some of these problems like this. Obviously, with everything that's going on in the world, I mean, there's people that have way worse things going on. Um, so, at the end of the day, I mean, if, if a screw in my tire is the worst of my concerns for the day, hey, man, I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, man, we got to look at everything with the silver lining, even though, you know, there's certain things that we, oh, man, I want to go through that again. I don't want to do this. I mean, there's always something. But at the end of the day, you got to look at it as... Um, man, there's always somebody who got something going on that's way worse than what you got going on, man. So, it, it'll make your problems look small. And not to say that to take your problems lightly, like it don't matter, but at the end of the day, don't dwell on it. Because, like I said, there's so many other things that could be happening that, you know what I mean, you just never know, man. So, at the end of the day, um, you know, I take it as a silver lining that, hey, that was the worst of my problems for the day so far anyway. And, and I'll take it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't want to keep doing it, you know. Oh, fuel is low. Yeah, of course, I, I, I don't want to uh, keep, you know, uh, uh, having to fix this or fix that. Oh, man, that's a nasty Z06. Oof. But, yeah, I don't want to keep having to fix this and fix that. And, you know, I, I mean, I barely got 150 miles, 200 miles on these tires. And, you know, got a nail in it already or screw in it already. I mean, you know, the list goes on and on. But at the end of the day, again, you got to take it for what it's worth and, you know, look at everything with on the positive side glass half full type of mentality just be optimistic on everything man so at the end of the day it is what it is we took care of it pay my little you know 15 16 bucks uh 16 bucks and change with tax and call it a day you know what i'm saying now we're going back home and uh it is what it is man we're gonna get the rest of the day on so uh yeah man just wanted to show you guys this little uh piece of this uh, of today of what i was doing because you know uh, again i got a screw in my in my in my tire so um let you guys know what could be done i mean i think a lot of people know about that but i don't think they you know everybody always likes to say you got you got to do a patch you got to do a patch and yes i think a patch and in terms is better but i'm gonna tell you straight up i've never done a patch i've always done or maybe once ever in my life but i've always done a a plug and I've never had any issues. I think one time my, with the other set of tires that my wife had, like the original set of tires that my wife had on her car, I think we probably plugged like one tire at least two times, at least two or three times, because it had like it had a screw, then we plugged it, and then had another one like a couple months later, then we plugged. So I think it was at least twice that we plugged one tire, and we never had an issue, man. So, I mean, it is what it is, you know. But Everybody, everybody's gonna have their opinion, I get it, I understand. You know, and, and everybody always thinks that they're correct in what they're doing, and you know, and, and everybody always, you know, it's funny because everybody thinks that their views and whatever their opinions are, it's it, and that's it, that's the correct way. You need to get your stuff together. What are you doing? Come on, man. Da 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 da. But at the end of the day, I mean, everybody has a certain, you know, everybody has different ways of doing things. So your way may not be my way. My way may not be your way. Cool, I understand that. And it may not work for you, and the other way may not work for me. Period. You know what I'm saying? Or vice versa. Or we could take what somebody else is doing and be like, all right, I'm gonna try that one and see if it works. But at the end of the day, everybody's different. And we all, 
you know, solve our problems however we feel fit. And, and it should, you know, be simple as that. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be worried about what someone else is doing and that's the wrong way to do it. And what are you doing? Like, you should know better than that. And that, like, come on, man. Y'all doing too much. If you guys are worried about the next man so much like that, I don't know, man. Y'all need to reevaluate your life pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's it for this one. Um, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm about to go hit the grocery store real quick. Gotta go get a couple, couple items. Obviously, and then, uh, yeah, man, we can call it a day and go back to the crib and uh, hang out with the family. So, and edit this video. <laughs> All right, man, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, man. Make sure y'all be safe, man. Be cognizant of what's going on out there in the world today. Stay humble, you know what I'm saying? Um, man, reach out to your, to your friends, to your family, and everything else, man. You know, tell them you love them. You know, and everything else, and because you never know what can happen at any given point, at any given time, no matter who you are, man. So make sure you guys reach out to your friends, your family, and everything else. You know, and uh, and, and don't be afraid to, um, you know, tell them that you miss them, you love them, whatever the case. Um, you know, don't 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 let it be too late. Is what I'm saying. Don't you know what I'm saying? It's too late to do it while somebody's in a coffin. So don't wait until somebody's in a coffin to be like, man, I should have told you this before. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't wait to do that. So yeah, all right, man. Anyway, we keep rambling. Be safe. Be humble. Stay positive. Stay grinding. All that good stuff. And always, like I always say, man, stay true to yourself and stay genuine, man. Because anything else would be on civilized, man. I'm your boy Fat Cat. We see you on the next one, man. We out later.